you know, I love summer vacation. You get to chill, relax, have fun, go on vacations, and they can really lose a lot of what they learned in the school year in that short time of their summer vacation. So I was looking up, you know, trusty old Pinterest on ways that I can keep the kids engaged during the summer, keep up with their learning and what they learned in school so they don't regress, basically. And I came across this website where she talked about how to avoid the summer slide and basically it's um, statistics about the kids and where how they kind of like decline in their learning over the summer these are from her blog it blew my mind i knew kids lost a lot of what they learned but this blew me away she says over two and a half months of math skills are lost over the summer uh two months of reading skills are lost over the summer teachers spend six weeks reteaching old material that's sad that's like precious time that they could be using to jump into their grade level for learning but they do unfortunately have to do a review we're going to talk about how you could spend two to three hours a week to avoid that slump that regression that slide there are a lot of free websites some apps that cost money for your kids education i printed out this fun sheet that i found on pinterest i'll leave a link for you where it shows some of these websites. Great learning tools. Okay, another thing that I like to do with the kids is go to the local library. I used to go more when they were little. Um, our library offers a ton of things for teenagers, for the younger kids. There's craft time and story time. Um, they have a reading program there. They give out prizes. So uh, since we have come back from our vacations, and it's been crazy with summer school. Um, today I'm sitting down and registering them for the library for the reading program. So the summer reading program. And so that way they can get earned points and get prizes. So that is so motivating. Definitely want to keep up on their reading. I've also seen on Pinterest where you can make them their own reading chart and make it fun. Like 20, here's like 20 minutes of reading time and they can earn a prize when they get to a certain spot and another few days and they get another coupon and then maybe you have a big surprise at the end is like going to the public pool or somewhere that they don't really go to very often the zoo or something so right now to help the kids retain they are in summer school for the month just for a couple of hours um, where they can read learn um, they learn different topics it's really fun they enjoy it so much and so I try to every year have them registered for summer school also, you can go to any dollar store or any store and pick up education workbooks for them. So we have a lot that they get to keep from the end of the year from their teachers. So what I like to do is keep them on their grade level that they just completed during the school year and do those workbooks instead of giving them a workbook for the grade that they're currently going to be in. That way, it's like a review all summer of what they learned, so when they go back to school, hopefully they've retained that. So you could do any reward system. I've done a ton over the years. What you could do is make your own coupons, and they can earn screen time, they can earn friend time, they can earn pool time, um, an ice cream, go out and get an ice cream, so make it fun for them. My biggest thing that I try to do with my kids during the summer is just keep up on reading and have them write. Um, there are times I notice that their writing skills can go down. They'll forget how to spell things. So um, you can ask them questions. If you went on a trip, just say, hey, write me a few sentences and draw a picture with it of what you did this weekend, um, the fun that we had at grandma's or the fun that we just had in Hawaii. Um, what was your favorite thing? Uh, if you want some question ideas for the kids, I also saw online a whole list, a whole list of questions that I printed up like what was the most important thing you would like to do this summer uh summertime's great for the outdoors go for a walk write a sentence about the walk you went on what is your favorite thing to do when you play outdoors in the summer what is one of your favorite things to do when you play inside tons of tons what, what is your favorite restaurant why is that your favorite so it gives you some engaging questions to have them to practice their writing so they don't lose that skill as well what do you do for your kids leave them down below thanks so much for joining me today and we will see you soon bye